A rash of break-ins in one Athens neighborhood has people there losing sleep and considering starting a neighborhood watch group. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Athens police have received 19 reports of home burglaries and they know of at least one business that was hit in just the last eight days alone. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin joins us to explain where in Athens this is all happening. Jerry. That's right, Calvin Latricia. Police say thieves are targeting sheds and homes on Kilgore, Douglas, Parks, and Scott Streets in Athens. And because there have been no arrests, many say they're doing what they can so they don't become victims, too. In this neighborhood, all you got to do is come by and ask for something. We're glad to give it. Don't steal it from us. But that's just what happened to Paul Smith and many of his neighbors over the past week. The lock was right here, and they jerked it off, so I had to put no one here. Athens police say thieves are breaking into outbuildings, taking yard tools like weed eaters, lawnmowers, and gas cans. They can account for about $500 worth of stolen property. Smith, who's now missing a weed eater, has put up a camera onto his house and wants to organize a neighborhood watch group. And it's really upset everybody. We're not sleeping good and we're really stressed out over it. Meanwhile, a few homes down, criminals hit Gail Campbell's home while she was sleeping last Wednesday. They did not actually come in, but the glass was all over the floor where they threw a piece of firewood through the window. She thinks her two dogs scared off the would-be thieves. When I heard the glass is when the dog shot downstairs and I started calling 911. But a few hours later on that same day, her home was hit again. This time she wasn't there. I was missing some jewelry and a camera. Athens police have beefed up patrols in that area and are urging residents to keep an inventory of their belongings. And you hate to go around armed all the time in your own home. And police have recovered some items after Good Samaritans found them abandoned and actually turned them in. So far, no arrests have been made. Latricia. Thanks, Jerry.